So the repetition method is quite simple and straightforward. One of the easiest examples you could think of is a sprint. Yeah. So you sprint at a maximal intensity. So that means you sprint. And how long can you hold? 100% intensity, not too long. Four seconds, four seconds, maybe six. And then you have complete rest. Yeah. Again, now I changed it. We're not working at percentage of the maximum heart rate. So we're just looking at the intensity and then your recovery. And then we have our next sprint. And again, recovery. Yeah. So that's essentially what the repetition method is. You work at a high intensity and there is complete rest. How could complete rest be defined? Okay, now I have to go back to the example of heart rates. But let's say if this is our resting heart rate here, one of the most simple explanations could be, you say you want to work at sub-maximal to maximal intensities. So let's say we do our 80%. Yeah, so we work up to 80%, which is the lower threshold of our sub-maximal intensity. Hold it for just a random example, one minute, and we allow recovery until we are at our resting heart rate or almost resting heart rate, and we rinse and repeat. Yeah. So, yeah. and again, here we can play around with the intensities. So, if it's a bit more intense, you want to work up to 90%. And then hold this 90% for 30 seconds, whatever that might be. And then you allow for complete rest. And then you go again and repeat that. Yeah. So that's essentially what the repetition method is. High intensities with complete rest. <laughs>